Hi everyone, welcome back to Court in the Kitchen. I'm Courtney and this is my Tom Tom. Whose birthday was it yesterday? Can you show the people your special toy? Oh, who is it? Luigi, Luigi, Luigi. I'm a Luigi. Number one. I think that's actually Mario. Anyway. Today, we are going to be making some super seedy bars. Oh, bye Tom. Um, and, oh, he's coming to get the ingredients. Um, and these are delicious little bars, great for a snack. <laughs> um, so, let us proceed without further ado. Okay, first ingredient we're gonna go for is these yummy coconut flakes. And there's 75 grams here, um, but I worked that out to a slightly heaped cup for those, yeah, pop it in. For those who are not using scales. There we go, beautiful. Um, next, we've got 80 grams each of pumpkin. Can I show? Can I show first? Pumpkin and sunflower seeds. Uh, uh, and that worked out to, let's see, slightly heat half a cup of each um, but I popped them together and um, then we've got 70 grams of poppy seeds poppy seeds pop those in uh, 70 grams wow nearly came right out <laughs> 70 grams of poppy seeds which is about half a cup and 80 grams of sesame so many seeds aren't there Tom seeds are everywhere these are sesame seeds um, and there's just under three quarters of a cup of seeds, or 80 grams, I think I said that, I can't remember. Uh, and then we've got chia seeds. How many seeds are there? Mm -mm -mm, delicious. Okay. Well, unfortunately our bench got most of the chia seeds, but that's okay, we're gonna roll with it. Um, and the great thing about this recipe is that you can change a lot of the things for whatever you've got laying around at home. It's very forgiving. Um, and same with the dried fruit. Uh, I've used 50 grams of sultanas in this one. And for kids who don't like sultanas, um, it's good because they get kind of mixed up into the into the bars and they don't even know that they're there. But you can use dates or figs or apricots or whatever you've got or whatever your preference is. And in here, oh, I think, I'm not sure if I said this, but, oh gosh, my eyes are so terrible. Goodness gracious me. Okay, the sultanas. <laughs> the sultanas, um, 50 grams is about a third of a cup. Um, slightly packed idea, uh, is how I is how I squashed them in there. And then this is uh, a mix of coconut oil and rice malt syrup. Um, it's 120 ml of rice malt and two tablespoons of coconut oil. Do you want to tip that in? Woohoo, so gooey, isn't it? Yeah, so gooey. So gooey. Tom, what could you use instead of rice malt syrup? Mm, I don't know. Well, what do you sometimes ask for? That, that looks, that's like, uh, uh, what's that gooey stuff? Um. Slimes. Looks, looks like slime. Ooh, I hope it's tastier than slime. Would you like to eat some slimy seedy bars? No, slime <laughs> is disgusting. How do you know if you've never tasted it? Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. But it's just disgusting. Oh my gosh. This is a messy one. Okay. And it's really sticky. Totally sticky. What else is sticky that you sometimes have on your cereal? Mm -hmm. Honey, honey. You can and, and maple. And maple. So you could use maple or honey instead of rice milk. We're just using rice milk today. Okay, and then we've got two teaspoons of cinnamon. Do you want to give it a sniff? Hmm. A teaspoon of salt. <clears throat> and what's this one? Let's see if you get this one right. Freddie couldn't guess it last maple week. Seaweed. Give it a sniff. Maple honey. Vanilla. Yeah. Gee, that one really tricks them, doesn't it? Stumps them. So we'll just get that one out. Tap it, tap it, tap. Okay. So what we're going to do with this, we don't want to over mix it because we don't want it in a second. We don't want it to become mush. Uh, we want it to 
have a bit of texture. Right. So, one second, okay? One tiny right. second. Okay, so we're just gonna um, pulse it for a little bit. Instead of pressing on, we're gonna press pulse, okay? Pulse. Yep, so hold your finger down on that one for a minute. You're gonna do it? Oh, and again. again. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, that is looking mighty fine. That looks fine. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Oh, uh, it's nice. It's very good. Oh, thank you. Um, I've got the oven. I don't think Luigi wants to go in there and get chopped up, do you? <laughs> okay. Uh, the oven is on at 175. So, 175. Yay. And we're going to pop this into... Oh, did we crash? <laughs> I've got a tray here that I've uh, just done a bit of coconut oil spray on and put some baking paper in. And I'm going to press this mixture lightly into the tray. I think it's 20 by 30 centimetres odd. Maybe a little bigger than that. So we'll see how we go. Uh, okay, so we've taken these out of the oven about 20 minutes ago and let them cool completely in the pan for slicing them up. Uh, you can slice them into whatever shape you like, into a traditional muesli bar shape or just squares. Um, I cannot wait to try one of these. Tommy, do you want to come and give it a taste test? I want to have one. You want to have one or one? No, one whole. Oh, one whole one. That makes heaps more sense. All right, give it a go. Tell me what you think. Oh, gum out. <laughs> Um, and I hope that you give these a try and that you love them. <laughs>